Καλησπέρα σας, καλοί φίλοι διευθυντές. Welcome to our program, Faces, πρόσωπα. My name is Vasilis Panagis, as always, I never change. And I have with me tonight uh, Mr. Alexios Yenaris. Καλησπέρα, Alexios. Καλησπέρα. Welcome to my program. Thank you very much. Yes. It's nice to have you here again. I mean, you've been in my program before. And um, we talked about uh, your uh, profession, you know, photography. Yeah. And um, we talked about uh, various uh, projects you are doing. Tonight we, we're going to talk about a special project. That's right, yes. Okay. Before we go to the special project, can you remind us about yourself, a little bit about yourself? I mean, what do you do exactly? Okay. Um, I do, well, my, my main job is, is the needs assessor. I assess university students with disabilities. The photography is a hobby, even a sideline now, um, which started in 2015. Um, visiting all the Greek churches in all the Orthodox churches in London. So I visited them, I photographed the priests, the services, um, everything about our religion. Mm -hmm. And then through there, I, and I started exhibitions with my friend James Neophyte. We arranged exhibitions. So we've exhibited um, in Oxford, in Coventry, around London, at the, the Hellenic Centre as well. Mm -hmm. um, so just through, through that small project I had then, I'm now going to churches around England. Mm -hmm. I've been to about probably about nine or ten around England. Um, I was invited to by Father Anastasios of St. Bandalemon in Harrow to go around England with the relics of St. Bandalemon mm -hmm. a few months ago. Mm -hmm. So I was the photographer for that, that project as well. Um, through all this, I've been to the Palace of Westminster to photograph two events, one with His Eminence Archbishop Gregorius, mm -hmm. the cutting of the Vasilovita, yes. and that was attended by about 15 MPs, mm -hmm. which was, a, that was, a, that was an amazing event. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to the clergy conference, which is organized by the Greek Orthodox Church here mm -hmm. in England. Um, I've also, also now become the official photographer of St. Bandelaymon FC. Okay. So I try and follow them as much as I can to take photos and show everyone. Everywhere they doing. play, you follow them. As, yes. many, as many places as I can, yes. So it's all, it's yeah. developing, yeah. You mean uh, before um, 2015, you never took any photos before? I took oh. photos. Ah, I took, yeah, but not, yeah. not, not the like way it. I do, not the way I do now. I mean, it's yes. just escalated all, all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you uh, consider yourself as a professional photographer? Um, I still don't see myself as professional. For me, I'm a man with a camera. <laughs> okay. I, I, I enjoy what I do. Yes. Um, looking through the, the camera and the viewfinder, it's an escape mm -hmm. for me. So as long as it continues being something I enjoy, mm -hmm. then I'll carry on, carry on doing it. Yeah. You spend quite a bit of time mm -hmm. you know, taking those yes, photos definitely. Notice, and it's, 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 I can't call it a hobby because it's something, it's a project you, yeah. you're doing, uh, you, know, uh, in, um, you know, in this way, uh, you're just covering all the churches and all this kind of thing. It's going to be a big project yeah. which is go you're going to, uh, you know, uh, uh, publish in a book and all this kind of thing. Um, I'm, I mean, that, that's, 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 that's going to be, that's, 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 be. That's, that's in the future. I mean, in yes. the meantime, uh, my friend James Unified and myself, we're arranging exhibitions for 2018 to publicize the, the, the forthcoming trip to Sierra Leone. Okay. Um, when you're publishing the, um, the, the photos and have the exhibitions, yeah. um, you sell in photos as well, or you just... I, we, yeah. don't, it's, we, we, we don't charge for entry. Uh -huh. We want everyone to be able to just to come along and, and, see see, and, and, and see the photos there and just to show everyone what our religion is, is all about and also our community now. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's extended from just the Greek Orthodox religion to the Greek Orthodox community. I mean, I was at the Cyprus Wine Festival okay. this year as their official photographer as well. So it's, it's, it's going slightly beyond churches now. Apart from what you're doing with churches and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, um, following all the uh, you know, trips uh, with the Archbishop and uh, Samba de Lima mm -hmm. and all this kind of thing, and uh, uh, do you uh, take photos for other people, like weddings and uh, all well, this kind of I've thing? Sta I've started now doing, doing weddings, mm -hmm. um, christenings I've done about 10, probably about 10 christenings, mm -hmm. um, and I have started weddings as well now, mm -hmm. um, but that's, that's if I have the time, it's, it's just if a question of time, time at the yes. moment, yes. Good, good. All right, that's fine. 
tell us about this, uh, you know, um, a trip you went to Sierra Leone. Okay. Well, in on December the first, I'll be leaving um, for a ten-day trip to Sierra Leone to Freetown. Uh, back in February, March, uh, a monk who's based in Sierra Leone, he's a Greek Orthodox monk, he came to England just to let us know about um, what, what he's doing over there and about his mission. Mm -hmm. His name's Father Themis um, Adamobulos. He was born in Egypt. At the age of 11, there was, um, there was, um, there was um, trouble or problems in Egypt, so his family moved from Egypt to Australia. Okay. And there he was, from the age of 11, he grew up in Australia. He was an, he was an atheist, I mean, he, was, he, didn't, he wasn't brought up with religion in his life. Uh -huh. And he joined a, a group, uh, about a rock band, okay. in the 60s this is now, called The Flies. So he was a, a singer, I mean... A, yeah, yeah, he was a, a musician, musician yeah. yes. He still plays okay. guitar, still sings he's as still well. still doing that, yes. I mean, he's in his mid-70s now. Okay. So um, they toured with the Rolling Stones in Australia, his band. And he, him and his band, they went to India to meet this guru that was the guru of the Beatles. Okay. And Father Themi was saying that he was wearing a, a wooden cross, uh -huh. which was just fashion for him. It was meant nothing to do with yeah, religion. Yeah. And the guru refused to enlighten him. He didn't him, as uh, know the it. meaning of that. No. Just, just put it on just because yes. yes. Yeah. So the, the guru said, if you don't take that off, then I can't enlighten you. Oh. And Father Themi said, but it's just a piece of wood. It means nothing to me. And he goes, yes. well, if you don't take it off, you have to leave. He goes, okay, I will leave. So oh. he left. And then he questioned, oh why did this why man, did he want me to why leave? did he fear this, this piece of wood? Okay. And then he, then he started reading more about our religion. He studied our religion. In fact, he went back to university, studied, I think it was economics. Yes. Um, he became the youngest lecturer in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he studied more about religion, eventually became a priest, an Achimandridi. Mm -hmm. And then he decided one day he wanted to go and help the poor people in the world. Yes. So Kenya at the time was having a lot of problems. So he sold everything he had. He moved to Kenya. Whilst in Kenya... From Australia. From Australia, yeah. yeah. So it was a complete different, different yeah, life yeah, he was yeah, living yeah. there. And then whilst he was there, the, the Patriarch of Alexandria said, look, we need you to go to Sierra Leone now. So the other side of, us, of, um, of, of uh, Africa, Africa mm. um, the civil wars just ended. There's a lot of orphans that need support. So he went there, he started helping the orphanage, the orphans, he built a church, he built a school there as well. And then the Ebola outbreak mm -hmm. happened and he refused to leave mm -hmm. Sierra Leone. He wanted to stay and help everyone in his mission. Yeah. Um, so he, he remained there and then after the Ebola, then there were more orphans who were left, who left, who lived without parents because of the, the Ebola outbreak. Mm -hmm. But now these children, no one wanted to take them in and, support and help them because their parents had Ebola, therefore they might have had the virus. But uh -huh. Father Themi took them in. Yeah. So from all that, he's now built orphanages, he's built a college, he's built a school, he's got the church there. Mm -hmm. And then he, the last day he was in England, I mentioned to him that I'd love to come to Sierra Leone. So straight away he said, please do. Yes. And that was it. So I arranged this this trip. It's so you're going back there uh, for a few days to for ten days, yeah. Photograph the to photograph the, the kids, orphanage, the yeah. church, and the yeah. college, and all this. That's right. How he managed to do all this? I mean, you know, uh, it's costly. How there's a charity, Paradise for Kids. So it's okay. Paradise Number Four Kids, which is oh. based in Australia. Okay. They've been raising ah, a lot right. of money to to help him support these, him. Yes, yeah. He's also been to he's been to America, so he's speaking to the Greek Orthodox communities in in, oh, okay. in, in America. Obviously, he came to the UK, so mm -hmm. he's getting support. Even the, even Romania. I mean, there's a lot of support coming. Um, for for his cha for his charity, yeah, and he's, yeah, doing, yeah, I mean, he's doing yeah. wonderful. And he's a very stubborn man. Uh, he he refuses to give up. Yes. Yeah. So this is uh, for you. Uh, look like it's a big step. You know, I mean, going to Sierra Leone and mm. uh, you know having a chance to photograph all these yeah. kids and you know uh, the uh, environment and all this kind of thing. Mm. You might be. Um, uh, going to um, uh, put an exhibition up, so there, there will be when, when I return. What, yeah, what's happening there? Well, when I return, I'll be I'll be organising exhibitions. I'll also be organising presentations mm -hmm. to take around to the communities which Father Femi visited when he first came to to England a few months mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. So they'll see where their money has gone. They'll see that it's been spent on these buildings. Oh, okay. um, but also with the with the photos I'm I'm taking, I want to look at the positive. Um, I don't want doom and gloom. I don't want to show the slums and, and, and just the poverty. Mm -hmm. um, I'm taking some props with me, like a toy stethoscope, toy screwdriver.
driver. So I'll have a photo of a child with the stethoscope, mm -hmm. another child with the screwdriver, and say this child wants to yes. become a doctor, this child wants to become an engineer, they want to rebuild their country mm -hmm. and allow it to grow. So I'm trying to avoid the, the negatives and trying to look that there is a positive future for, for, the, for these for children. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. very good. Mm. But uh, this is again is a costly uh, trip. It, it, uh, how you manage? Do you, uh, you have any sponsors? Very. There's a, um, a friend of mine, Helen, Helen Ramsey, we were at uh, primary school together and she kept saying to me, why don't you do crowdfunding? I'm quite a proud man. And I said, well, I, I, I can't do this. And she said, all right, you let me do it and you just sit back. So I let her do it and she yeah. managed to raise £2,000 mm. to get me over there, which was the most amazing things. I mean, I had... Um, donations from the Greek Orthodox community or the Orthodox community of St. Andrew's Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Kentish mm -hmm. Town, from St. Bandelaimon in Harrow, um, from the Greek Orthodox community in Coventry, mm -hmm. um, and now you've had Alan Boss in Luton as well. So a lot of communities put money together, also individuals as well. Also, mm -hmm. Kampit Gia yeah. donated money towards, towards the trip as well. Right. And, certain, and quite a few, I mean, quite a few friends and family, so it was... It's, yeah, it, was one, it was wonderful. Yeah, you, you still need um, support, I suppose. It's, well, Father Themi wants, well, would like me to go back in February. <laughs> so, ah, okay. for the, the Patriarch of Alexandria will be visiting. Mm -hmm. So, if the funding is, if I've still got funding available, I'll, I'll go back in, in February. Mm. There's also a, Greek, uh, sorry, a new charity, the Pan Orthodox Concern for Animals, which is the, um, headed by, Pres uh, by um, Bishop Kalistos. And they're actually funding me um, an overnight stay at a chimpanzee sanctuary mm. in the rainforest there. So I'll be okay. photographing the chimpanzees, also the wildlife, the birds, as well as the, the children. So a lot of different people have come together to, to help me here. Oh, good. Yeah. So uh, if anyone uh, you know, watching now, uh, mm -hmm. they want to help in any mm -hmm. way, how can they do it? Um, the, the easiest way, you can, you can help, they, they can help the, the the mission generally by going to the charity, the website for Paradise for Kids. So it's Paradise Number Four Kids Australia. Okay. They can donate money directly to the mission there. Uh -huh. If they want to donate money towards my my second trip, I'm sure if they contact Hellenic TV, um, they yes. can they can do something there. Okay. Um, in fact, in, even I mean Panorama Restaurant. There's a new Greek restaurant in Whetstone. Uh -huh. They've got a tin up on their in their restaurant ah, a collection tin. That's good. So yeah. people are putting money in, in in there as well. So there's a lot of ways of, of help, yes. helping. What are your plans when you come back? I mean, do you have any plans? I mean, apart from you know, might be having uh, to organise an exhibition. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. have any other plans? Um, that's that. That'll be the main plan. The main plan will be just to start editing the photos. Mm -hmm. Preparing them, even that that alone is 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 a lot of work. It's quite a bit of work. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so uh, you're gonna come back before Christmas? Oh yeah, we're coming yes. back on the on the well, on the 11th of December. So plenty of time before Christmas. Yeah. Then you have a chance to uh, take some photos um, mm. during Christmas period, and uh, mm -hmm. you know what are you planning to do? Which uh, you know which churches you plan to? Um, I haven't decided yet which churches, but I have actually. I've been I've been asked to take photos at a con at a, a concert on the 23rd of December, which is Kiriago Yoriu ah. at the Trent Park. I think you know him yeah, at the, yeah, at the yeah. Trent Park um, Country Club. Which, which day is that? It's 20, 23rd of December. Ah yes, he's yeah. doing something there. Yes. Yeah. So I'll be I'll be there. I've also I've actually I've written to yeah, him. You're going to take some photos. Yeah. yeah. So that'd be that would be great as well. Oh, that's good. Yes, it's a nice guy. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I might be, you know, uh, uh, joined there mm. on the 24th. Yeah. You know. And, and another thing I'd like to mention the 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 children, one of the classes of Saint Bandalem and Hellenic College. Um, they they did a video message to take, for me to take with me to to Africa to Freetown, uh -huh. and they they sang a, a Greek a Greek carol, obviously in Greek. So I'm going to take that to the children there. And whilst I'm there, I'll video the children there singing in their language, so I can bring that back to to the the, the, the school at Saint Bandelaimon. So that way we'll join the two communities and the children together. That's good. Um, through or through 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 music. So lovely. Yeah. So uh, yes. Um, uh, you know, um, very happy uh, that you managed to come here and talk to us about Thank all you. this. You know, it's a very um, you know um, interesting uh, subject. Mm. 
and uh, I wish you um, have a good trip and uh, Thank you very uh, much. manage to do whatever uh, your plans are and uh, succeed your uh, you know uh, um, tasks. Thank you. And um, what is your message while you are here for uh, our people who are listening, yeah. who are uh, watching? For Christmas, yeah. Come, well, Christmas coming up. Okay. Well, you know, my message is to just think of the people who who have less than you, and imagine what, what what they're going through. So whilst you're sitting at your table at Christmas, enjoy yourself, have fun, obviously, but just think of those less fortunate and the fact that they're getting on with their lives. So the people in Sierra Leone at the orphanage, they're getting on with their lives. So don't feel, never feel sorry for them. Um, just realise that the, the, you know they're. They're living, they're, they're surviving. And with your support, you know, they'll survive even longer and even better. Alexios, Zinaris, thank you very much. Thank and you. I wish you all the best. Thank and you. Uh, see you when you come back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Εγώ και εσείς θα είμαστε μαζί και την ερχόμενη Κυριακή, την ίδια ώρα, με ένα καινούργιο πρόσωπο ή πρόσωπα. Να ευχαριστήσουμε όμως και τον χορηγό μας, τον Dr. Βασίλη Μάφου από το Varosi Lettings. Thank you very much. Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πάρα πολύ για την στήριξη. Και τι άλλο να πούμε, να προσέχετε τους αυτού σας και θα τα πούμε και πάλι, όπως έχω πει, την ερχόμενη Κυριακή. Καληνύχτε. <Καλή>